Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cast Redux, I'm your host Mr. Mokolov and right now we're looking at Europe, but really we should be focusing on the Ottoman Empire which we have gone to war with, in which we gotta beat them, the Encelindian Sultanate, Yemen, Sudan, not Persia or Muscat, but I have a good feeling we need to go to war with Persia immediately, uh, even though we're not really set up for it, uh, you know, maybe we won't, maybe, maybe we'll wait, so, but overall, like, we're doing pretty darn well here, uh, are they doing force defense here, hold on, let's take a look, no, they're not, but their strength is dropping, which is nice to see, so. Yeah, we're doing relatively okay here. Actually, do we have the... Oh, we have someone captured there. Ottomans? No, we don't. That sucks. Um, what else do we have here? We got that. We got some of this stuff. It is almost 44, which we do want to get some carrier planes eventually. Just because we do have carriers, so, yeah, that'd be pretty useful. And I guess we just busted through the straits, so that is actually very nice. We got our tanks moving on, rolling out, having a good old time, because... We all want to have a good old time, right? I uh, got some comms to go through. Let's get some better casts as well. That'd probably be a smart thing to do eventually. And as the soldiers are getting ready in the border, we have other soldiers getting ready to take out Feng Chong government. I don't know if I'll be able to take out Japan. We'll see. We're really going to need a lot of naval bombers for this, so. And. Oh, we have the fate of Bukhara. Bukhara has been brought under our control as troops occupy the region. We must not decide what to do with it. We integrate them. Which kind of sucks for PP, but whatever. Um, Russian economy, what do we need here? Oh, it would be a peace. Oh, okay. Russian economy, of course. Chinese civil strife, don't really care. Territorial integration, keep that open. Operations, don't care, don't care. We can do that eventually, don't care about this one. Super events, location councils. Better guns, nice. Only a year late, but whatever. Better late than ever, I guess. And we definitely need more rubber. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're, we're building a lot. I'm not gonna lie, we're building a lot. And some, as you can see, nuclear reactors as well, so. Nice. Ottoman's definitely not that bad. I'll have to go uh, Persia too. Go in, go in. These tank cells, they're doing a mighty nice job just spreading out, causing like cancerous destruction. So nice. I mean, they're just. Zip zipping through all this territory, which is awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Ground support, nice. I got a lot of stability, as you can tell, but having perfect air superiority definitely going to help out when we fight the third international. Yeah, when we're probably going to fight them. So overall, not too bad. Wow, we're already all the way down here. Look at that, beautiful. What do we have over here? Um, what do you mean, fate of Bukhara? What? I already said. Re this mod is bugged, man. It's so bugged. They're just gonna penalize us for nothing. Still, again and again and again, man. Again and again and again. Of course, they would. Um, I really don't want to go to war with Japan. I'll be honest. I really don't want to. Oh, there's some serious lag. Oh. Well, there goes those guys. How is America still in a civil war? Dominion of Alaska. Oh, let's get our operative, too. And we'll do some of this stuff too. There you go. We're almost done with that. Hey, George Bush. Thanks, thanks for coming back, man. Oh. And a lot of lag. Hmm. I. Oh. But we also need to get some naval bombers too. Oh! Wow, they died really fast. Yay! Thank you, thank you. That was a lot faster than I thought it would take. Just because of all the mountains and hills and really un inhospitable terrain that they do own, so. I didn't want political power, of course not, not at all. And we have currently, how much are we today? I get two days, not that bad. Demobilize, oh my god, oh my god, how many times is this going to fire? Okay, at this point I'm giving myself 120 PP, like that's ridiculous. I'm not, if it keeps, it keeps happening, why, why, ah, that's so stupid. Like I don't mind taking penalties for this stuff, I'm just going to annex them, but like, other ones, like military occupation, reintegrate. Military occupation. Integrate to Eurasia. This one, again. Why? I'm giving myself. No, oh, not 40. Like, Jesus Christ. What the heck? Please don't pop up again. Please. Please. We need to, we need to attack Afghanistan. We need to claim Greater Armenia. Break the Iron Curtain. Deal with the Empire of Japan. And honestly, at this point, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to cheat for PP them. I mean, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but like at this point, this part of the campaign, I don't care. Like, I get why it's there, and it needs to be there. I don't care. Yeah, I'm done. 
Yeah, we're just going to cheat for PP. I'm not going to cheat for stability or worth though. But. Iraq. Jazz. Levant. Okay, just. If they're going to keep doing that, we're just doing this. I I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't care anymore. I don't care. At this point, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We've already proved that we can beat the crap out of other people, so. My apologies. I don't usually like cheating, but like. Oh. <laughs> Why does it keep firing? And it does it again. Oh my god. And there's Kurdistan, of course. And then Bukhara. No! We're gonna reintegrate them! I don't care! I don't care! Um. Where are you guys at? Y'all just hanging out? Because these guys are in the Untaught. I don't really want to fight the Untaught either. What are we doing? We're repairing Sevastopol, so. So I apologize for using Gaunt's commands, but at this point, there's really not much we can do about it. Approach road allies. Um, I think. Oh, I'll give you to protect Ukrainians in Galicia. Galicia is always an unstable construct. The ethnic tensions there are too high, and the Austrians refuse to do anything about it. We've got to change that. Pretty much. Why is it? It's bugged, man. Heavily, heavily, heavily bugged. But we do some coffee to keep us nice and warm, though. Yay! Exert influence on East Turkestan. Claim that. Let's approach our old allies. You know what? I think for this campaign, even though we're conquering a whole bunch, I think it would still make sense if we approach our old allies because we're a monarchy and stuff like that. And when we go to the young Eurasianists, we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and just kill everyone off and do a feast in times of plague as well. So I think that would be good. So I think we'll approach our old allies. We remember the good times of our cooperation within the Entente. With the Sinaclus menace in the West, we should return our, to our old friends and help them reclaim their homelands. Well, should we really have them reclaim their homelands? Hmm, maybe not. But then again, whenever I want to make this campaign a little bit different from whenever we're going to do the Young Eurasianists, so I'd rather join the Anta now than later, so. You know what? No, I'm not going to bother with that anymore. Just let it happen. Maybe then it'll just kind of go. Cool. Alright, so you guys are good to go? Yes, you are. That's awesome. And Afghanistani. Oh. Claim Great Armenia as well. Uh, deal with the Empire of Japan. Our old arrival in the East. Japan has been a thorn in our side for far too long. With the Western holdings firmly consolidated, we can finally focus our attention on crushing the stranglehold over Asia once and for all. Deal with them. Well, we don't have a really good navy yet. Like, don't like don't get me wrong, we're trying. We're definitely trying here. But it's definitely nowhere where we really want it yet. India policy. Support the Prince of Federation, huh? There goes Morocco. Demands a Kalin, yeah. The Japanese Empire is a powerful state in the Far East, which is likely to dominate the whole Asia or Pacific region. Instead of a military confrontation in the Far East, where our infrastructure, infrastructure not so developed and located far away from the capital, we can negotiate with Japan for it. Yeah, might as well try, right? Might as well try. Nice. And we're going to go in. Treaty of Vladivostok, where the force is finally Vladivostok and Khabarovsk, uh, and the notorious city of Transmir is gone. It's better to use us or for us to negotiate with a powerful Japanese empire. That's dragging our country into a war. We have several choices, however. The first one is to sign a non-aggression treaty with Japan and prove our trade is likely to satisfy the Japanese government, but we really don't have profit from it. The second is to ask for Sakhalin in exchange for treaty and trade. The third one is to just ask for the Kuril Islands along with Sakhalin. However, the Japanese government is unlikely to agree to such terms, but we can only check uh, it if we send a proposition. Korea Islands over. Oh, these ones? Uh, we'll be balanced. We'll go with Sakhalin. We'll go with the middle one. Actually, since we're over here already. Hey, Afghanistan's gone. Nice. Uh, didn't think it would take that long. It didn't. Hey, great. Did you sign the treaty? Nice. The Japanese government has agreed to sign the treaty. The day remarks being in the Russo Japanese friendship. Hooray! Too bad I'm going to kill off their puppet, the Feng Shang government. Oh well. So we're doing that one. Um, you know, it's, it's a little ahead of time. I don't really care, though. Afghanistan, don't really care. After a long fight with the Afghans, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Afghan army to surrender and flee to the mountains. Kabul and the major roads are now in our lands and hands. But the countryside is rallying against us, and we may have a large fight on our hands should we attempt to occupy the so called graveyard of empires. Integrate them. Nice.
This is for the future. Oh, we already have naval bombers, though. Oh, my bad. Uh, naval bomber twos. Get some better casts. There you go. Nice. And up next, that's good, good, good. Fall of Detroit. I thought they already fell once, but whatever. I'll uh, go and grab the next one, too, because you can. We got plenty of fighters, but Detroit allies. India policy. Your best bet to ensure that our interests are respected when it comes to Indian subcontinent is to support one of the three sides vying for supremacy there. Even though, well, some of the sides already died, but whatever. Alright, so we got a couple of naval bombers. You know what? You know what? We're not going to do that side first. Um, as we're joining those guys, we'll probably help out and take out. Hmm. They're in a national first, maybe? Discuss Alaska? Nice. We'll see. Well, yep, yeah, and that's it. Nice. I don't want that many more armies because it's just very disorganized that way. So what I'm thinking, we're gonna abandon this area for now. We're gonna come back later. Oh, actually, let's join the Entente immediately. Yeah, we can join the Entente. Break the Iron Curtain. Um, nobody joins the Entente. You know what? Because Japan is at war with the Entente, aren't they? No, they're not. Oh, oh no, they're not. Okay, so that's actually good then. So you guys will all come back. We have one solid front line right there. That'll be good. Oh, no. oh, maybe not just you, but all of you. Huh. All 40 come with divisions over there. And then train when you get there. You guys are independent, which is very weird to see, but whatever. Uh, 54, that should be more than enough. Especially for screens. Well, sort of-ish. Uh, you guys are actually not bad. You have a lot of capital ships, which I do love, but still. So, where's the third international? So, we're over here. They got some areas in Greece. So, I'll... Split these armies like this, maybe. So like that. And they're international in South America, sort of. And oh, mostly on taunt. Mostly on taunt. And we'll have our tanks in North Africa. To deal with these guys. But let's make make sure that North Africa's got plenty, 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 plenty of supply. And your bases. Cool. So that'll be good. And I'm going to have you kind of as a backup force, just in case. So we'll have those guys go and doing whatever they need to do. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, well, this is this is still so bugged as well. India policy is nice. Um, clean these guys. Oh yeah, let's wait a little bit more. I do want to do some more, more naval doctrine. Repair Vladivostok. Vladivostok under our control is finally back. We're finally in a position to contest the other world powers for dominance. <clears throat> Over the Pacific Ocean, after decades of cold shocks, neglect, and Japanese influence, however, it's pivotal. They will renovate the port and bring it up to our naval specifications. If you don't know about this, please go ahead. Nice. Followed up with... Destroy Armada, Kira Development. Um, honestly, I prefer Battleship Development. If you want to read about Kira Development, please go ahead, but... From the Carex of old to contemporary dreadnoughts, capital ships have been the centerpiece of every major naval navy for countless centuries. Building these mighty warships isn't just a massive boon to our navies, but also a very clear sign to the rest of the world that we have overcome the justice of Brest-Litovsk once and for all. Cruisers, carriers, yeah, I'll go with this one. Well, I got plenty of rubber now too. Plenty of rubber, nice, nice, nice. Good. Actually, where are you at? Oh, you're a banana. Oh, we still need to go to the banana, too. That's right. Um, Agent Kill. Well, that sucks, bro. My bad. Okay, this spark World War Three. Ooh, wow, that takes a long time to justify. Holy crap. Actually, what are in these light tanks divisions since we're waiting, anyways? Um, 40 combat widths. How many medium tanks do we have? Doesn't matter. We have modern tanks, so. Uh, light tanks are fine. Medium tanks. Let's replace those. Nice. Um, other than that, that looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, we don't even have these yet, so. We definitely need them. There you go. Five more, maybe. And then do some of that, too. Demobilize our economy? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. It's going to take some time for these guys to get over there. And they're almost over here anyway, so... Yeah. I don't know why they went through this Asia region, but... Especially when the European side is probably a little more developed. Yeah. Eventually we'll get all this stuff built. 
be super smooth here, hopefully. And we're going to get naval invaded, and it's going to be dis disastrous for us, but whatever. We have more than enough manpower and factories to do whatever we need to. Especially if we join the Entente and beat up the uh, Third International. We're going to be spilling a lot of blood. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but probably nice, and Air Force. Cool. Just in case. Cass, you're not great. You really aren't. But, that comes with upgrades. We need more fighters. Because we'll just go to war immediately after this, so. We have a lot of interwar bombers as well, which I love, love, love. There we go. There, but, uh, you have 200. That's not enough. 1800 is a lot better now. Um, here, 1200. Like, I just want these guys to shrek our enemies. It's good enough. Uh, there you go. Figure that out whenever you get there. And let's get some more fighters for our tanks. Because we're definitely going to need them. A single fighter, cool. And give it a day, they'll upgrade them to be the most recent modern stuff. Thank you. And there you go. It's not much, but it'll get there. Battleship development. And another agent. Vasily Antonov. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Ah, another tank division. Great. Alright, so are we are we good on the line? Sort of ish. Ooh, actually, you know what's actually here? Is it you? Yeah, you you're here. Is everyone already over here? No, but somewhat yes. Air Force Department. We're done with that. Make sure our ships are okay. Um, you're going to come up here too. Before uh, anything bad happens. Can you guys get up here? No, you cannot. Oh! Oh, well, you guys are probably going to die. Actually, yeah, you can't get up there. Let's get these guys up there first, and then we'll go to war. So you guys stop training. Prepare. Nice. Fighter threes. Beautiful, my am. Beautiful. Naval bombers. 15 is not going to be enough. Here. Go to 35 for now. I uh, do that one too. Extra investments. And beer crack matters this time too. Oh, another sub? No, where are you guys at now? Oh, you're there. Nice. Alright, so you guys go and do this. Boom, boom. Since we're here, get some naval bombers. I know it's not a lot, but. And get some fighters too. There we go. There, you're fine. Cool. All right, we should be good to go that one, right? Join the Entente. Support the Delhi Commune or Delhi Commune Dominion of India? Sure, why not? And break the Iron Curtain. There we go. 14 days, what? What? God dang it. Uh, if that's the case. You know what? I don't want to... It's only... If we don't do this, what happens? With the threat of war seeming distant, people are no longer willing to accept the hardships of a war economy. We should review our economic laws and consider changing them to produce more consumer goods and meet their demands. When selected, we get more political power, which is I don't care about. Uh, I mean, go and do that one for now. It's fine. Have the Moroccan... Join ISEC? Yeah, why not? I'm sure some people really don't want me to join this group, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. I, I get it, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to join the Entente at the same time. Uh, Entente Airstream Scheme, if you want to buy this stuff, go right ahead. That's fine. Oh, are these guys in the Entente? I mean, oh, yes, they are. Huh. Construction Engineers, 30%. Honestly? Super Goods are always so good to do. I want more naval stuff, though. Naval. Go naval. United yeah, it's India. They're joining the provinces. Well, as much as I want to attack them, I maybe I shouldn't have joined the Entente, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll try to get as much territory into Eurasia as possible. Uh, what provinces? Maldives? 
Yeah, I think not. Oh, we're oh, we're above the number health. It's fine. <laughs> After this one, a destroyer mod destroys the backbone of every navy. Considering the fact that the Rex backs dominance in the Baltics, this will doubly be true for us. Fast, resourceful, fast to build. We'll need, we'll need a large force of these ships if we were to contest the Straits and make it into the open seas. Get ready, boat. Oh, hello. Why are there so many soldiers in our lands? What? Wait, I did not give the military access. I, did, I know for a fact that they did not. That is BS. Straight BS in here, man. They attack us, we attack them. Oh, oh North Africa. Niger has been called in. Who are they fighting? Oh, that's... Uh, I mean... I guess. Oh, Ireland. Oh, whatever. I don't care about Africa. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. This is such crap. Are you kidding me? I did not give them military access. I know I didn't. Yep, that's why I got you guys here. Figure out how to get over here and lead these enemy divisions. That's so stupid. And if they're in your lands when this happens, you know what should happen? They should be completely 100% demoralized. That's how it is in Rome to war. So stupid. Paris against Moscow would crush the revolution just like in 1812. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, doofuses, go. Go, go, go. Oh, look at this, though. It's kind of nice. Yeah, just delete, delete the enemy navy. Oh, look at that. Come on, battleships and carriers and planes. You can do better than this. I know you can. Nice. I only joined the Entente so I can help defeat Japan, too, so. Senegambia? Look at that. Oh, not enough. Keep throwing in more ships, please, please, please. Nice. Yeah, they keep throwing in more ships. I love it. I should really be paying attention to the land battles, but I love just destroying and shrinking enemy ships. Beautiful. Not bad. Not bad. We lost 17 planes for quite a few um, screens. Pretty pretty worthwhile, I'd say. Pretty worthwhile. No, I just want one of those divisions to go. God dang it. Oh, they're over here too. That sucks. Nice. Ah, more. Yay. Yeah, this front won't be that bad. What's your superiority like? Oh, it's not like good. Germany is a battleground. Ah, British Tunisia is gone. That's good to see. Put on. Oh, more? Yay! Lee Warden? How much manpower does, do the French have? Probably quite a bit. No, they don't. Okay, then. Oh, since we're here. Wait, we can't go here? What? So we actually have to delete some of our divisions. That's so stupid. Alright, thanks. Bye bye. Hey, those guys are gone. Nice. Delete them, please. Delete them. Yay! Dude, just go in. <coughs> We're taking a lot of losses from planes, but we have almost an equal amount. Algeria's gone, nice. Wasn't really concerned about it though. Nice, even though they're invading all the way through here, but whatever. Bros. You know you can go in. Luxembourg? Oh no, not the mighty state of Luxembourg. Oh, whatever will we do? There you go. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Ah, now we're fighting for... Where are their divisions? They have 137, which is... Honestly, it's not that much. Oh, Vance is going too. That's not good. Yeah, we gotta figure that out up front too. And you guys are fine. Uh, that, they'll be fine over there. Yeah, come over here. Status Salonica. I'm taking control of the region Salonica. Must know what we do with it. Uh, I don't know why we don't have the other option, but okay. Yeah, joining on time was probably a big old mistake. My bad. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, did they have the carrier there? Look at that. Find that carrier, sink it. That's a part of the fleet. Oh no, our guys are leaving. Who does some planes still here though? Man, we're gonna see it. It's alright though. Keep repairing. Keep repairing. It's totally fine. It's cool to repair. Oh, we lost something. I'll oh, blame. That's fine. No one cares. No one cares about losing planes, man. Guys, would you like to be a little more aggressive? I'd love it if you were a little more aggressive, guys. Um, we're doing that. We're doing that, which is awesome. Not too. More your superiority. I don't want any more divisions. What's this? So, okay. Well, I love it when it's bugged to ha all hacking back. And it keeps asking me about the same god, god dang thing, but whatever. Uh, Cass? Oh, yes, daddy. You're down here, huh? No, you ain't. That's a really bad idea. Some 40 combo with uh, divisions down here, but whatever. Go ahead, boys. Go ahead. Tanks, you've done. I love these tanks. They're just so good. Mop them up. Oh, look at that. Wow. So we got 200 planes, a battleship, and three escort cruisers defeating planes, carriers, ships. Beautiful. Sink it, please. Sink it. Sink it. Come on. Oh, we can't sink it. Oh, we were so close. It's all right. All right, so at this point, yeah, take this off. Just go back and repair for now because this is looking really bad. I mean, these guys are veterans, which I love, 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 but still. Nice. There you go. Thank you. And since we're all the way over here already, this place has gotten a lot of blood in its soil because there's so many people that died here already. Do you have any air bases? Some more naval bases. We might need to do a naval invade from here, so. Um. Start doing some naval bombing. Destroy Armada. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. And then Invisible Navy. The Valkyrie toss that is always the biggest naval gun that wins the war. Cheap, silent, deadly subs can bring entire empires to their knees. With a shipbuilding capacity limited by a breast of tolls, focusing on these types of vessels will allow us to quickly to gain defensive capacity in the deep ocean. You betcha. You chet, you betcha. Can we upgrades yet, man? Lone Wolf. Uh, hurt enemy. Yeah, that's fine for now. Oh, we have this stuff too. Oh, I should have waited. Capital ship. Yeah, uh, I don't want to get hit too hard. Oh, don't go in there, man. Do not go in there. Don't tell them that's our guys. No. Nice. And come up through here. That'll be good. Tanks. We're going all the way through Africa. They're taking the long way. So good luck. Ooh. Yeah, uh... It was Sacramento. Well, we've killed off 500, half a million of them. Not bad. Fall of Paris. Pretty good. Got more uh, planes, which is awesome as well. We're doing the land auction, of course. This stuff is all done, too, for the most part. We got modern tanks, which is very good. Uh, it's not even 44 yet. Uh, what about that? Look at this. Subs, nice. Subs gone. Lost a couple planes. Don't care though. Nice. Very good. Well, maybe we'll have a chance against the Japanese. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know where the French army is because they, they. I don't think we're taking out that many divisions. Like, I know they don't usually have a lot, but still. I guess we're done. No, you ain't. 
No, you ain't. There's still a bunch of crappy people up here that we gotta kill off too, so. And North Africa's looking like a battlefield. So I know this is definitely not the Eurasian campaign people sort of wanted. Sort of, they, some people did. But, eh, we'll see. But there's always two, there's two more campaigns that we're gonna be doing in the future anyway, so. It goes to PSA. Did the car win? Oh, wait, 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 wait. The car won the American Civil War. I've never seen that happen unless I was playing it. Good job, Murray. I laugh a bell. Good job. Even though I took a lot of your territory, which means you can't do anything because of the Imperium of Man. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not get into this too much, man. All right. So let's begin the naval invasion. And if we if we are the ones that successfully invade, then this and then I'm just gonna take it all. I'm not gonna give it to those other guys. I really don't see the point of that, doing that. But that's only if we succe successfully invade. So. Yeah, we got we need a lot of air bases around here, man. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of air bases. Restores America's voting rights and the American Civil War. Wow, tradition triumphs. I gotta play them again sometime, man. I I like playing as a car. It was a wild campaign when we played them. And you haven't seen me play them. You should you should watch me play them. You should. I love playing as a KKK. Especially when you have no idea which, like, what route of the KKK you're gonna go down. So, all right, so not bad. Uh, you guys, poised to go. You guys doing okay? Key point bombing is great. We love bombing people. There you go. Nice. We're doing great. I don't want to go down to that part of Africa yet. That is just disgusting. No one likes that part of Africa. I don't think even some Africans like that part of Africa. I'm sorry. Not really. Sub-Saharan Africa. What a joy. That's why we prefer Eurasia. Alright, so since we're here... I uh, got some TAC bombers. Which, actually, we need to improve, actually. Um, Get that. Some of that. Get some of that. Start bombing them over there. And... Do we need extra space? No, we do not. Holy crap. We are stacked for space, man. Naval bombers. Oh, wow, we have a ton of regular interwar bombers, which we need to improve upon, but whatever. Take that one off. It'll be fine. Oh, and there goes the Commune of France. Oh, we're overrunning them. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so tasty. Nice. But we still have the CNT to fight. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so bad. Here, everyone rushed on that way. Huh. Oh, God, I love those tanks. They're just so nice. So nice, man. So now they're going to be bombing. Oh, the French are defeated. Paris has been captured and the French have been defeated. We ripped out the heart of the revolution. Now, what does that would do with occupied France? Puppet. Uh, whoops, my finger slipped. My bad. My, my finger slipped. You didn't see anything there. Nice. Eh, like I said, I don't really care at this point, so... And then there was one comment saying that it's stupid that I'm annexing everything. I know. And there was another comment saying, like, if it's if there's a lot of lag, just annex countries. I'm like, oh, I'm trying, sort of. So. Wow. Nice. Nice. Good stuff, man. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Invisible Navy. Followed up with what? Uh, fleet vanguards. Let's do coast defenses. Because our naval capacity has historically been less than that of our natural rivals, many of our naval theoreticians are advocating for a defensive stance against the enemy. But focusing on mine and the seas, we could limit their movement at sea and cause losses to the fleets while exposing ourselves to minimal risks. So, oh, I don't care. I'll gladly take it all because no one cares about Africa. Unless you can exploit it. I guess we'll keep them busy and occupied so they don't attack us in the channel too much. Because now we're going to go invade immediately. If we can. If we can. I need you guys to come back up here to the north for now. So, you guys, it's really bad doing it like this, but they're actually seeming to do okay around here. I'm not setting my tanks that way. No. Hmm. I don't want to send my tanks into Asia either. Come up here, that's all.
If you guys could win, I would be so impressed. Especially since we're attacking ports directly. Oh! Oh! Well, we got in there. Nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Spread out. Oh, how's it broken? Oh, look at that. Great! Wow, we actually successfully navally invaded. Look at that, huh? Go figure. It happens. Alright, well, we're all here. The gang's all here now. A lot easier than when I did World of Blaze, but whatever. Um, which is, which makes sense, but still. Convoys, convoys, yeah, it's fine. Portuguese Empire's gone. Huh. Sucks for them, man. Nice. Oh, we lost a destroyer. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I feel so pain in my heart now. Fall of London. London is not in Canadian hands. No. We destroyed. Bombed the crap out of London. Don't you dare tell me that London was taken by the Canadians. Don't you dare tell me that. Actually, since we're here. We're such just a fight on the other group. I hate these Justify World Wars times. They're so bad. They're so bad, man. There you go. Nice. Yeah, we're just bringing out like cancer. I'm not even worried about any of this stuff. Fall of Madrid. So we need the Union of Britain, which we're doing well. We don't even need to capitulate the CNT, so... One army is going to be good enough to take them all out, so you guys actually screw it. Um, yeah, I know what we're going to do. Get some up here. Yeah, torpedo strike's good. Some stuff. <clears throat> That's some debate. Uh, Salonika, don't care. Uh, I don't know why we get this now, but if you want to read about these, please go right ahead. Ooh. Okay, germ. What? What? No. God dang it, come on. This is why I'm going to give myself, like, PP330. Just because I want to do this stuff as well. Oh, wait. Well, maybe we can't go to war, though. Oh. We did get all this Kaelin. So, maybe we won't do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't want to have to just fight. If I we'll use Cons Commands if we have to. Like, at this point... It doesn't matter. Oh my god, we already went over this. We literally just went over this. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just a little frustrating. It's like, what? we just went over this, man. Again and again and again and again and again. Any other upgrades yet? Nope, that sucks. He's only halfway to level 6, though. Good, find him, sink him. Shh, no. Hey, where they gone? Sorry, Britain, but or Canada. Yeah, no. Chile. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm taking everything. I just don't care at this point. Like, we got it all. And if it wasn't for us going to war. Is the guys would not have been able to survive, so yeah. Well, the Entente's looking pretty good. You know, I do want to take up a gnat, so we'll see what happens. Cool. Uh, fleet protectors? Uh, fleet vanguards. Let's do that one. Beta Britain. Dragging middle ground between larger battleships and smaller screens, cruisers. Oh, god dang it. No one gives a crap about Molly. Why are we doing Molly? No one gives a crap about them. <clears throat> uh, cruisers are a versatile type of ship that can strike hard and without being a white elephant for the enemy to strike down. By modernizing their offensive gun rule, effectively turning these ships into pocket battleships and hitting hard hitting ships, able to stand for capital ships in a gunfight. Uh, these guys, no. Nah, they're not going to like that, but whatever. And then, do that one too, I guess you can. Apologize, it's just. Some things are kind of wonky. Kind of very wonka wonka. So 
Algeria, Sierra Leone, don't care. Spain, no. The Asian Empire, cool. Because we still, actually, you know what's good? We're not doing that one yet. We're going to go back down here and do their influence over East Turkestan. Strengthen their position in China when you deal with the situation in East Turkestan. And then claim that KVZHD. Or the Chinese Eastern Railway <clears throat> was built by us to help us with the transportation of the port of Vladivostok. It was lost after the revolution was taken over by the Chinese. It's time to demand its return along with the land surrounding it. So now you guys go all the way back here and see what you can do. Well, you know what? We're going to split you guys up better than that. There you go. And. What? No. I said one army to do this. One army. The game just loves lagging incredibly hard. Because we need one over here too. There we go. Because we need one guy here. Do that. Because we need another guy down here doing all that. I'm kind of ridiculous, I know. And we need one guy down here to get guard against you guys. And don't want to forget about you guys to guard like right there ish. <clears throat> because you guys are going to come all the way over here and do that. Because you guys are all the way over there, and we're going to take up a gnat first. Basque. Um... Cool. Return to Alaska. We should never sort Alaska our land of the Americans now that our position in the world stage is stronger than ever. It's time to ask them to return our old territory on the American continent. We'll see. Why do you keep popping this crap up? We already said no that we're not going to give you, uh, you know, stuff. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Why do it keep, still keeps firing? <sighs> some things, man. Some things. Um, here. Yeah. Should be able to go to war with them now, right? Oh, okay. Screw that. Give me the PP. <sighs> Come on. And since we're done, we're pretty much done in Europe, so. You guys combine. Right there. I need you guys to come over here, too. Okay. Turn Alaska. Cool. And claim that area, too. Let's go to Alaska. I didn't give them Canada, so. Or the Union of Britain, so whatever. They're probably going to say no, but whatever. Huh. <clears throat> and then we'll do Project Zelta Alicia. Question of Alaska. In 1867, the Russian Empire in the U.S. has ratified a treaty that formally transferred Alaska from Russia to the U.S. in exchange for $7.2 million. The new Eurasian government, however, states that the land is a historically Eurasian colony and should be returned to the motherland. The Yellow Russia endeavor was a plan to create a dependent state in Manchuria that could be colonized, russified in the end, incorporated into our nation. Now that we've hold these lands, our ambitions can come to fruition. Send the ultimatum. They refuse to sell it, which makes sense. But I don't want to fight them. We'll fight them next time. It is what it is, my bad guys. I know it's not a complete full Eurasian conquest run, but still. <clears throat> there you go. They're gone. Yay. Thank you, Bennett. Because I'm going to need you guys for Korea. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Nice. More Millies, huh? Uh, more Cass? Maybe? <coughs> Peru demands Antago Fagasta? Uh, sure. I don't care about Antago Fagasta. Oh, look, a carrier here. Nice. You're maxed on carriers now, huh? Not bad. And after that one, new tactics for new ships. 
Modern ships are barely more useful than the ships of the last century. If we don't update our naval doctrine as well. Ready as ever, the Admiralty has lined, outlined a doctrinal modernization plan that will help us rapidly overhaul our tactics and retrain our officers. Nice. Yeah, you should probably be based all the way over here. Get rid of that too. Salonika, whatever, don't care. Our division should get there quickly. I mean, we could. Uh, I mean, we divisions up here already. Yeah, I'm gonna be bad at throwing them over there immediately. But we don't have the numbers for it. Uh, we have to naval invade. That wouldn't be too bad. I mean, using the tanks will probably do really okay. Oh, we're still at war, huh? Oh, who cares? Military breakthrough! Yay! All right. So how do we go to war with these guys? Just by war goal. Ninety days. I'm just gonna use cons commands then. I don't care. Panama. They have infantry. Land is against fortified enemy islands or beaches carried out by the regular infantry without special training and equipment. It's a disaster waiting to happen. If we take on the holdings of the empires of our west, south, and east, we need to establish a new branch of marine infantry to act as a vanguard in any future naval invasion. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Thank you. And thank you. Even though we don't have a lot of those guys over there, but whatever. Um, fighters. Cool. Nice. Grab some of them over here, too. Actually, just on the peninsula itself. Like that. You know, du duplicate them. Because there's going to be plenty of planes here we got, we got to blow up. Um, naval bombers. You might as well grab 100 here, maybe. See what you can do with that right there. And then... So many planes, man. Carrier stuff. Don't not bother with that. Give it a day. Yeah, that's good enough for now. We got, made another battleship here, huh? Two more battleships. Holy crap. Nice. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. All right. So since we're here, do that one. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Large investment. Development. Very good. And now what? Yeah. We're just going to go to war now. A soldier's ready-ish. You are very also very spread out. You're fine. Uh, you guys are going to get the crap beaten out of you, probably. Ooh, we should have put more airplanes. Oh my goodness, yeah. Give it a few days first, and then we'll do it. That'd be fine. I'm not too worried about that. Cool. Anything else here? Public recognition. Don't care. Honestly, don't really care at all. Give us a few more days. We do have a few air bases here, but it's not going to be enough, obviously. Uh, give it to you. 1,900 is not enough. There you go. Just make sure we got a lot, a lot, a lot of... Are they still fighting them down here? Who's fighting here? Oh, it's us. Who's fighting in our lands? Oh, they're gonna take over those lands. That's not good. One moment. All right. Well, we got new taxes for new ships. Name left you wouldn't be too bad. So, yeah. allow diplo. And now we cause World War Three ish. Oh, you guys are probably not even over here yet, are you? Hey, what are you doing? We literally need you here right now. Jabby's march to war again. Sorry, guys. I totally said we wouldn't go to war with you again. Totally. Can you guys actually do well? Oh, you're not fighting yet. Well, we'll see what happens with the entire Anton here. Can we actually... No, we can't. Okay. Well, we're slowly winning against them. Hopefully. My goal is to wear down all of their fuel. It's going to take a while. Don't get me wrong. It's going to take a while to do, but still. Oh, wow. Already, we got some... Some ships sunk, which is nice to see, but still. How are we doing in Asia? The continent, mainland. 
You are not going because I didn't give you orders? No, I gave you- I definitely gave you orders. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Two escort cruisers, not bad. Oh, we're pushing through here. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, god, yes. Um, I should have actually sent you guys over here, too. My bad. Hokkaido? Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice. Yeah, my bad. Holy crap, that's a, that's a stack. That's a stack of ships. Hold. Oh, it's like a carrier. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a battleship. And, and some more stuff. Holy, holy smokes. How bad are these ships? I mean, our ships aren't really that great, I don't think, but... Okay. This is one of the greatest naval battles we've ever had in the history of uh, Russia. Yeah. This is looking like a gigantic mess. But I love these tanks, man. They're doing so well for us. Oh, these guys are completely surrounded. Are they doing force defense? Maybe not. They'd, they'd, they'd be doing great. They do be doing fantastico. You guys, on the other hand, you're doing your best. Oh, crap. It's a lot of red, man. Oh, battleship sunk. Nice. Convoys, good, good, good. How are we doing down here? I forgot about this one, too. Oh, we're going in. We're going all in, man. Oh, Korea's gone. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. That's okay. So we, honest, I, we could send these guys to Japan. I'd rather finish off Feng Shan fast. The boys go right on ahead when you get there. We can always reinvade if we have to. Since we're here, we're going to build you up anyway, so... Uh, get some serious amount of naval dockers here. Nice. Oh, good. Uh, nice, nice, good stuff. More, ba more battleships. Yeah, sweet. Take that one off. What do you guys hear? Oh boy, I found some of our subs. I still got a big old navy. Some places. While well, Shenyang got it right. Got right. <clears throat> Excuse -a me. Yeah. I said I'd research better naval bombers or just tactical bombers. Well, obviously, I lied. <laughs> My bad. Anything else down here? No, we're pretty much done with the focus tree. Cool. Oh, he's up there. Um, air production is already pretty good. Naval production, I guess. Why not? Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, you're still not even over here. Holy crap, dude! Oh, that sucks for you guys. Subs, destroyers. Before we keep going on, like, how strong are these guys? Two million manpower. Uh, a lot of divisions. Uh, 183 is still not bad for them. But fuel wise, they are going to be running out of fuel once we fully just start stacking on them. Because we're slowly cutting down other ships, which is good, and all but stuff. Yeah, just letting these tanks just go do whatever. Probably the best idea we had. I slightly remember that. I slightly remember. Oh boy. Oh no, not a sub. Alright, so since we're here. Um some naval bombers going this direction too. There you go. Fighters. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they become the Republic of China. Well, that sucks for them then. Nice.
I wonder if we could just swarm them this way. We might just be able to, maybe. And then take out Hiroshima quickly. God, I hope we can do that. Second sound of Japanese. What do you mean second one? We already, we already did it. We're already going. Oh, this is a gigantic mess. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. Oh, Bangkok. Very good, very good. Siam's gone. That's good, 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 good. Ah, this is looking pretty good now. Nice. Twelve destroyers sunk. Awesome. Sub, sub. Three subs. We have a rolling force. So we have increased clarity to both us and Japan that are forces are outnumber theirs. As news of this has trickled down to the Japanese general public, there's increasing unrest and support for support for the government is failing. If we maintain this advantage, we'll surely capitulate them even sooner than we hoped. What excellent news. I mean, you kind of figured that from the beginning, I think, but whatever. And I'll flip over to new ones, more modern ones, that'd be good. Chris Crappy yay! We gotta just make them burn up all their fuel. Because we have more than enough, like, we're, we're, we're more than fine. Oh, it's like a civvy, nice. Or, not civvy, but, you know, carrier. Of course, they lose more ships, they use less fuel, so. Oh, they got even more fuel than earlier, huh? I don't want to do this, but at this point we kind of have to. Completely surround them all. Battleship's gone. Nice. Good, good, good. We'll probably lose a couple ships here and there. Whatever, it's a necessary evil. Okay, peace with the Empire of the Fading Sun. Two conference Darians Dar ended in agreements. The terms have been negotiated, and Japan and Japan were accepting peace has been achieved. We gained much in this, nothing less than a great victory. What? 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 We didn't get it. What the? Oh, come on, man. What? Oh, that's BS. Come on. Well, okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it then. Um. I wish we could have gotten them. Obviously, we could have taken them more, but like, at this point, we, we've done pretty darn well. I don't know what consequences really, but it is what it is. But hey, I think I'm going to end it here, because I don't think there's really anything else for us to do. So, yeah, it's been fun. Obviously, it's definitely not the way I know people want me to do this, but it is what it is. Hey, but if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.